Well, the Whitecaps have finally come back to LMCU Ballpark after two long weeks on the road. And boy, has Ty Madden made some waves. So we got the voice of the Whitecaps, Dan Hasty, here to talk about it. I mean, just looking at his numbers in June, he's allowed 17 base runners in the entire month in 25 innings. What have you seen from Ty Madden? Well, I think everybody's finally figuring out the Ty Madden that should have been a top 10 pick in the MLB draft last year. He was a top 10 draft prospect. He fell down to 32, and people were immediately criticizing what he couldn't do as if there was no way he could ever make adjustments. And as you know, this is a game of adjustments. Well, he's made a couple of changes and everybody said, well, I can't throw a pitch up in the zone and have any success with it. Well, guess what the Tigers figured out how to do? Get him up in the zone and have success with it. And that's been the big adjustment for him in the month of June. It was a rough month of May and then he started to figure things out. But it's limiting the hard contact that has really separated him and shown everybody what made him so successful back at Texas. Now He's a college guy, so he's not a 19 year old. What's he got to do to get to the next level? You know, I think like we said, it's a game of adjustments. And what's naturally going to happen now, because Ty Madden just collected the Midwest League Pitcher of the Week award, teams are going to adjust to that. Teams are going to look closer at that film. And they're going to go, OK, now he's made an adjustment. Now it's our turn. This is a back and forth game. Baseball is like a game of chess on a much bigger board. And now we're going to see what teams do with time Madden because now comes a point where he's expected to dominate. And to be expecting to dominate is really hard because everybody's going to try to find shortcuts to how to beat you. That's the last box I think he has to check in West Michigan. For at least now, Ty Madden and Dylan Smith are thought of together. They've kind of flip-flopped because in May, Smith was great. He struggled a little bit in June, but his last two starts have been better. Do you see him going back in the right direction now? Yeah, I think so. I, I think when you have that long season, when you're dealing with ebbs and flows, naturally, you're going to run into roadblocks. That's what player development is. It is struggling and it is finding your way out. And truth be told, He's been able to get out of a couple of big jams in his last two games, and it's much more like what we saw back in May. His fastball is better than it has been all season. So now it's just about finding a way to harness that big velocity that he's got. And on a personal note, he's just a great kid. I just want to see it work out for him so well. I think he has the right mental approach to the game, and I think that's half the battle sometimes with guys. So I think Dylan finds a way to figure it out because he just has that mental aptitude that so many guys want. White caps and tin caps in just a few minutes here at LMCU Ballpark. You can hear Dan Hasty call it at whitecapsbaseball.com. We'll hear from Ty Madden himself coming up tonight on Fox 17 News at 10. For now, we'll send it back to the studio. All right, Jason.